Okay, 6 p.m. and we have all commissioners present. Uh, so we're going to declare a quorum. Um, first of all, agenda. Do you have any changes or additions, deletions from the agenda, Jace? Nope, no adjustments, changes, deletions, or otherwise. Okay, can I get a motion for the agenda? I'll move to approve the agenda. I have a motion to approve. A second. Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. So, okay, we declared quorum already. We did the regular agenda. Approve the September 24th planning and zoning meeting minutes. And Jace, you sent a second copy of those, correct? Is you this the second mm -hmm. copy? Uh, not what, no. no it's you okay. made some corrections. You Sorry, said. The, the one, the corrections that we changed was I had a new person added to the committee minutes of uh, Vice Chair Hope Culture Chalmers, so we got rid of that. And then um, there's one other minor change of a of or more. One second, I can pull it up quick. So the whole culture Chalmers was. Oh, fixed. so yeah. you were. You were Under uh, agenda item combining. two. Or combine agenda their names. Three, sorry. <laughs> I combine their names through that. You're a, you're a one person, huh? I guess. I hadn't even looked at that, so I was like, oh, there's a different we do one. I'll read that one. So. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes we don't. <clears throat> sorry, there was one other minor. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes for September 24th meeting. Okay, we have a motion to approve the meeting minutes from September 24th. Do we have a second? Or do you guys need to know what the second to change on the minutes were first? That might actually be the only one. Uh, okay. Reading through it quick. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second. We have a motion and a second to approve the minutes from September 24th. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number four, saltwater addition for the plat. We're going to do a public <coughs> hearing and discussion and action. Jace? So the application uh, before you tonight is for a subdivision only. Uh, this is a replat of an existing lot in the Vistos subdivision. Um, there are no new public roads or right of way proposed. However, the building does propose a private <coughs> drive uh, within a 40 foot wide and 26 foot wide access and utility easement. Um, and then it should be noted that the applicant site plan does identify this as private drive or private drive as saltwater way. Um, into that, um, the rules are so divided 3.55 acres into five total lots. Uh, the property is currently zoned light industrial with no request to rezone the property. Um, and it, it's staff's understanding that the applicant has uh, some business partners already lined up to occupy those lots uh, when this plan is approved and they go forward to uh, design review um, and site plan review. Uh, for the memo received on September 23rd from the city engineer, uh, the property is currently connected to city <coughs> services for both the sanitary sewer and potable water. Um, one thing I, I would note in talking with city engineering in terms of stormwater, uh, they would like to start implementing um, potential natural low areas on the property, like drainage swales, which could be used as aesthetic portions in their landscaping. Um, just something to consider as you guys go through the site plan design uh, for these sites. Um, 
it's not necessarily conditional to the plat, but again, uh, just to bring it up as, as a conversation point that we'll talk about as we get through into the actual site plan design uh, for these buildings. Uh, fire hydrant locations uh, will need to be approved by Southern Valley Fire and Rescue. Um, and then I think we just have one minor tweak on the plat under the dedication language, uh, which is dedicating and conveying for, and it says to the public use uh, for the access and utility he's been shown here on. Um, the staff would note that the private drive should be maintained by the developer and, and the city's obligation to maintain those utilities should not extend throughout the private drive. Uh, and then we just put as a condition that, that before the recordation of the plat, if it is approved, that that dedication language be corrected to what it needs to be. Um, so with that, uh, staff does recommend that the Planning and Zoning Commission recommend approval of the subdivision application for saltwater addition. Uh, subject to uh, the following, which is the ply language shall be amended to remove the conveyance of the private access and utility easements to the public before the recordation of the plat. Uh, fire hydrant location shall be approved in writing by Southern Valley Fire and Rescue, and then the applicant shall comply with civil plan and construction requirements that are detailed in the engineer's memo. Other than that, I don't have anything else. We do have representation tonight, um, and you're open to open that public hearing whenever you are free unless you guys have additional questions for me. Any questions before we open? Okay, we will open the public hearing for saltwater addition. Representative that wants to present or discuss, do you have anything? Uh, my name is Tony Eupel. I'm with uh, Media Engineering. I'm here representing Ben Tillman and uh, his partnership with BBC. Uh, basically, as they indicated, there's five lots that are being subdivided on this property. They're going to use them for their private commercial use, um, for their commerce businesses and things like that. So all infrastructure will be private and installed uh, to meet the city or city or uh, land development code. Um, I don't see any restrictions. Otherwise, I'm going to be performed and what we've talked about with Jason and the city before. So um, the owner's intent would be is if it applies to group tonight to go to the city commission that will submit for a plan review or current review for the site terms. Okay. And you're all here as representative? Mm -hmm. Okay. So seeing we have no one else here, Notices went out to all. Yep. And yep. Uh, okay. one couple of lot, the next lot over, two lots stop in. Just ask what it was about when we talked about what it, they were doing. They had no further questions. So. Okay. We have, anybody have questions for the applicant? Concerns with the extra outlets onto you bet your drive with Sparks Edition going in? Spacing wise, no. And protecting the line the traffic, uh, not at this time. No. Where is the road access on the you betcha floor? Uh, or I mean, where, is it uh, to the south? Okay. They would have two. Right there and there. On you betcha. Yep. And there's no access on to industrial. No, the, the property is, is address and oriented off of you betcha. Um. Saltwater. Drive will be on the interior of the lot. The interior of yep. the lot.
there's two driveways, I should just say. And then if you see the bump bottom across the street, that's the driveway, so we're aligned with that 160 feet off the okay. this corner. And then the second driveway is about 303 feet south, okay. just to get the space. And then additional access to the fire emergency services to the sure. two ways in and out. One of the reasons I was asking is that road, when Sparks, you know, goes in, it's going to be one of the busiest roads in the city, probably. I don't know. It, it, Potentially. What's that? Potentially, yeah. Potentially getting out to head over to 94. Mm -hmm. So having everything going out on that rather than industrial. Uh, obviously, you know, the more driveways we have on that road, it's going to slow traffic down more and more. So... Uh, I guess there's not going to be many people coming from the north turning into there. Most of your traffic is going to be, for, for the industrial, if it's going to go anywhere, it'd probably go south. It's probably going to be coming from the south and going south, more likely. I, 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 I'm just trying to extrapolate yeah. where, where yeah, the, probably. so there's going to be left turns, lots of left turns. They'll have to go out and, yeah. Uh, Obviously, industrial is, you know, I, I guess you'd, 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 you'd pile up on industrial anyway, so. Um, it's just that, that road just wasn't, I, I, I don't know if that road was made big enough for everything we got planned for it, so. Well, the other thing that'll probably happen is a four-way stop or something on industrial, and you bet you something traffic gets too bad just to slow it down, I would. It's almost a given, I guess. Yeah, we can definitely see that. I almost even at the other end too before you can get to a hundred because there's no stacking room. Right. We blocked the intersection. It's a nice straight road. <laughs> 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 it's just uh, it's just unfortunate that we couldn't have done something in advance to anticipate what, what's going to happen with that because. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, getting in and out of it, you know, depending on the time of day, I suppose, you know, people are coming home or they're leaving, you know, so. And I know that I guess this plans for the city is just to be north of the garage, the garage homes there for the public or public utilities. Uh, With the, yeah. So, I mean, if, if you look at what your peak hour trips are going to be, are going to be completely opposite end of the spectrum. Okay. I mean, realistically, if these are eight to five businesses by seven, seven thirty, most of those people have left their homes, and then yeah. by five thirty six, when they're coming home, realistically, the activity in this industrial park is down to minimal. Yep. Okay. Recent work on one hundred has put turn lanes. Yeah, into you got. Mm -hmm. turn lanes and things that might help traffic flow a little easier on 100. I don't think you're emptying sparks out all here. No, and, and there are conversations of some potential amendments <coughs> to sparks uh, that provide a alternative route. That's probably about <coughs> what I can say at this point. Yeah, we, I, I don't think when the road was built, they had an idea that sparks was going to go in. We have to close the hearing, or did we? I haven't closed the public hearing. We're good. All closing the public hearing. Any additional discussion from the commissioners? Now, do we have a motion on the plat? I move to approve the plat as per city recommendations. We have a motion. Do we have a second? A second. We have a motion and a second to approve the plat as per city recommendations. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Yeah. 
So it goes from here to City Council next. Will that be at the next Council meeting, Jace, or? Not the next one, but uh, the November 4th would be with noticing schedule. So the recommendation is of approval to the City Council and it uh, sounds like November 4th, they'll have that on their docket. Okay. What time are those? Same time, same, same time place, time. same seats if you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll reserve Not maintenance. necessarily the same chairs though. Same chairs though, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, anything else for I know I don't have anything additional for you guys tonight. Okay. Unless, unless you guys have anything. No. The only thing left is adjournment. Do we have a motion to adjourn? I'll move to adjourn. Second. Yep. You made the we're, we're adjourned, right? The whole meeting we don't need to vote. <laughs>